Hello to all the viewers and learners of NIUS. I, Dr. Piyush Prashad, Academic Officer in Accountancy, welcome you in our video program. Learners, as you know that we are going to have three different books of accounting which covers overall six modules. Now today we are going to discuss on the sixth module. You know, this is an optional module having the two parts. Either you have to do the analysis of financial statement or elementary cost accounting. This is up to you, it's at your choice. Both the parts, both the options are going to cover the 15 marks, which is going to weightage a lot out of total 100 marks. So today we are going to discuss on the topic cost accounting. We have invited our studio Dr. Anand Sharma, who is the associate professor in Central University, Haryana. Sir, I welcome you in our studio. Thank you. Learners, <coughs> without involving ourselves into a further talk, I am directly going to refer to Dr. Sharma, who is going to explain us the various aspects of accounting related to the cost. Sir, once we know that there is a financial accounting through which we came to know the profit and loss of the business, we are able to prepare the balance sheets and so on, then why the concept of cost accounting is evolved or what is the need of cost accounting has came into an existence? That is a very important question. Financial accounting is already serving lot many purposes. Financial accounting provides the financial position of the firm as well as the liquidity position of the firm and very important information. It is specially designed to the outsider's need. It is made in such a manner that the need of outsider parties such as shareholders, such as government, such as society, they can have very useful information out of that. But there are some pertinent questions which financial accounting fails to answer because financial accounting is prepared for the whole financial year. Financial accounting is prepared for the whole business unit. But sometimes you need to have a very micro view of some department, some process, some product. So, cost accounting is required to answer such pertinent questions. So, basically, uh, as we you have mentioned, ki financial accounting is an accounting which helps us in knowing the profit and losses of the business position of whole the unit. for the whole year, yeah. for a whole business. Yeah. While on the other hand, a businessman may be interested in knowing the cost of the individual product or the individual unit. Yeah. He may be interested in knowing the cost of the specific process or a product wise. Yeah. So that he can finalize the price of the product. That's why I think the need of cost accounting yeah. arises. Now, can you quote and explain the meaning and exactly the definition of cost accounting? Cost accounting is a process which calculates the cost for that matter cost accounting records various cost related data information, classifies them in a systematic manner in order to calculate cost at different stages and cost at different processes. And then finally, reports the cost related information to its users. Mainly its users are the management, the internal users of the company. So it means basically cost accounting is a process of recording, classifying and summarizing data related to cost and presenting it to its users in such a way that it helps them in decision making. There are so many you know crucial decisions in the business, how much to buy, when to buy, whether make or buy, you can make a, you can outsource a particular product. So, these decisions, these Even crucial decisions. Even a businessman decision, can have a decision whether they should continue with the production a certain yes, type of product or, or should they down. stop the production, keeping in view the cost of yeah, the product. If it is yeah. going high, then they may have to take some adverse decision. No, yeah, we cannot yeah. continue with this type of product. Yeah. On the other hand, they can also up to some extent can decide that how the wastages can be minimized, how the cost can be put into control so that they will be able to maximize the profits. Yeah, I yeah. think these are all the things which you would like to quote over here. Very right. Very right. Now, once this thing is clear, <coughs> our learners are able to know the meaning and definition. <coughs> now, what is exactly the scope of cost accounting? Uh, what I mean to say is, ki, is it going to be a separate branch of accounting or it is a part of the financial accounting that we have gone through? Yeah. It is definitely a separate specialized branch of accounting. It is 
entirely different from financial accounting although we can have we can take basic uh, the concepts from accounting but uh, definitely it's a entire new field of accounting in this accounting cost accounting we covers first of all we collect the data from different centers in such a way that it presents the whole picture that what are the different components of cost in a particular product so its scope covers calculation of cost of various product then helping management in deciding how to control the cost because the cost accounting clearly identifies the areas where cost is more or where you know the co we can compare our cost with our competitors so we are in a position to understand that which areas we can control the cost so basically it covers determination of cost then based on determination of cost you can fix up the selling price then you can uh, you know control the cost you can devise your own methods then again uh, reporting of cost is very very important to different users at different point of time we are interested in knowing what are the objectives of cost accounting see cost <coughs> accounting as we have quoted is not a very simple kind of thing that businessman of his own can have this kind of analysis <coughs> he has to appoint large number of persons those who are going to help him in deciding exactly what is the cost of the product at each and every step so he is spending a lot of money lot yeah. of time and manpower is going to be involved in it yeah. definitely there are going to be some objectives which he is supposed to achieve what are those objectives which we can be able to achieve with the help of cost accounting as far as objectives are concerned the first and foremost objective of cost accounting is to determine the cost of various products cost of various products cost of various processes and cost of various services so when you determine the cost you can fix up the price so first objective is to determine cost and secondly to determine the selling price based on you know cost you can fix the selling price definitely then, until unless we are able to have the cost with us we cannot fix up the we price can, of you the you cannot product. fix the selling price we have to although keep, yeah okay. I, i would like to say one thing although there are some factors which are you know uh, beyond costing which affects your pricing decision but at least as a finance manager as a uh, you know cost accountant you should know what is your cost you may take decision otherwise also sometimes times it has been quoted that oil yeah. companies are selling their oil yeah. at the subsidized rates yeah, yeah. at the lower the cost yeah. because they have got a government implication Yeah. they have to fulfill some social objective yeah. they are compelled to do so yeah. but it can't be the case with each and every businessman still they need to know what is the exactly cost exactly the cost otherwise they won't be able to know what <coughs> is the profit they are earning or how much losses they are suffering yeah. so for fixing up all these things they are able to have the certain quantum of cost with yeah. them yeah more than that fixing of cost of different products the more important is the control of cost because cost accounting presents a beautiful you know classification of different components of cost in a very very systematic manner so the management is in a uh, position to understand what are the areas where cost is more what are the areas where there is scope for cost reduction so it helps in reduction of cost at the same time there are some tricky decisions which has to be taken cost accounting presents its data information in such a clear and lucid manner that management can take decision based on that so that is also very important decision of cost accounting okay as we have said ki it is going to have the tricky aspects by which they are able to present the data in such a lucid manner that it may be able to clear each and every person and they are able to have the cost aspect each and every place now our learners are basically interested in knowing what is exactly the importance of cost accounting to the various users they can be the management it can be useful to the shareholders it can be useful to the national economy and so on right so yeah. i'll request you to please explain the importance of cost accounting to the various users in detail the cost accounting is very very vital in today's time when we are living in a competitive environment you will see today companies are you know fighting you know cutthroat competition in this case only those company will survive who can manage their you know the cost at an optimum level 
So, as far as importance is concerned for management this is very very important because it helps management in many ways as we have already discussed it helps in fixation of price, it helps in taking uh, some vital decisions through which management can take the best decision. Management can select out of given alternatives, management has to select the best alternatives. So, management accounting is the accounting which helps in selecting the best alternatives. So, this is very very important for management and this way management can serve their objective of getting high rate of return. So, this is very important. Management can also benefit by cost accounting by improving human you know capital. Management can you know differentiate through cost accounting who are the you know workers who have more productivity and who are the workers who have less productivity. Through this differentiation management can you know motivate the productive workers and somehow they can you know motivate the workers who are not working up to the mark. So, this is also very important area that cost accounting is helping management to improve the efficiency and productivity of the firm. Even the per unit labor cost can be very easily determined by them with the help yes. of cost accounting that what is exactly the per unit labor cost, how much cost of labor is going to be paid for producing one particular unit. By this they can take some decisions as whether they should continue the work manually as they were doing traditionally yeah. or should they go for the machine system where yeah. the work will be done automatically and one man is going to work for 10 different type of workers with the help of a machine. So, cost accounting as we have quoted is going to help the managers in taking lots many decisions. Once they are able to know all these kind of factors, they are in a better position to decide whether to continue with the product or whether to outsource it or what else could be done by them so that the cost could be kept under a control. Yeah. Now, as we have quoted, it is important for the management. Yeah. I hope there may be some importance of the cost to yeah. the employees also, to yeah. the government also and so yeah. on. Yeah. For employees cost accounting is very important in the sense that cost accounting clearly identifies the efficiency of the workers. In this way the good workers are you know given good incentives and you know the bad workers who are not performing well they are identified. So, this way it creates a healthy competition in the company. So, this way it is very very useful for employees it provides good working environment. The company can motivate them yes. and can penalize the inefficient workers or yes. can adopt some motivating techniques so that the workers those who are not producing up to the mark yeah. can also come up to that level yeah. can improve their efficiency and can perform well. Yeah. Now this can only be known once they have the cost analysis of each and every individual workers. Yeah. Then how it is going to be important for our national economy? For our national economy when individual companies performing well individual companies you know utilizing the scarce resources in a most effective manner automatically the whole economy will be benefited out of that and uh, the whole economy will benefit in the terms of uh, you know enhanced GDP and enhanced standard of living because when you provide good you know cost techniques through which you know the cost of product is reduced and the scarce resources are saved, definitely it will benefit the whole economy. And side by side we can also say that today we are not going to restrict ourselves to the internal um, economy. Yeah. Now, it is a whole global, global world economy. Global where economy. each and every country is competing with each and other country. Yeah. Now, it is an open economy, not yeah. a close ended one. Yeah. So, we are in importing the various products, we are exporting the various products. If we want to import and export, then it could only be possible once we are able to analyze the cost. Yeah. Because when we are in a foreign market, when we are supposed to sell our product, when we are supposed to export our product, we should be very much well aware that this is going to be the cost, this is going to be the exchange rate, at this rate we are going to sell in so and so country. These are the various other expenses which are going to be added to the cost of the product in transportation and so on, because exporting the goods is not an easy job. So, if we want to remain in this competitive economy, it is very much necessary for each and every individual, for each and every businessman to analyze the cost. And then only as the sir has quoted, 
Once we are able to do this thing, then our GDP is going to be increased and the standard of living of the common masses is going to be increased. Now, sir, the only one which is left aside is the shareholder or we can yeah. say the owner. How this cost accounting is going to be benefited to them? Definitely, when there is good and working environment, when you know workers are working at up to their good productivity level, overall the profitability of the company will enhance and they will get good returns. Okay. Basically, fine, fine. So far, we have talked about all the goody goody things of this cost accounting. Do <coughs> we have some limitations also? Yeah, definitely. Which are going to create the problem or the businessman may have some problems in this cost accounting. Uh, I hope it is not there that each and every businessman or at a very small level is going to do this thing. Like for a, a small person who is a person who is doing a very small business, I do not think he, he is going to have an analysis of the cost. Even when we are working at home, a lady is cooking a food, she never compare ki this is going to be the cost of the food if I am going to cook at my home and this is the cost of the food if I am going to get it from some hotel. No, we never used to analyze. So, I think there are some limitations. What are those limitations which makes a person not to go for cost accounting when there are so many benefits of it? Dr. Piyush, I would like to say when you quoted a housewife when she is you know cooking a food and although she is not uh, you know going cost accounting in a very systematic manner or in files or folders, but certainly some cost accounting is working in her mind. So, mental mathematics she is doing. And this mental mathematics, you know, is definitely helping that house wife that uh, how she should function. So, cost account is definitely going to benefit her at small level also, but definitely not in that fashion which we are doing in corporate sector. As far as limitations are concerned, these are not limitations as such, because these are limitations because we are not clearly understand or we are not able to understand the application of cost accounting in different scenarios. Okay. Suppose as you said that there is a small you know uh, vendor, there is a small you know general store person, he maintains cost accounting in a systematic manner in which big larger companies are maintaining, definitely he is going to lose because huge cost is involved. What he should do, he should make his cost accounting tailor made according to his requirement. So, as far as limitations are concerned, there are no limitations, but still for the sake of limitations, we can say that it is a very expensive system, it is very time consuming system. It is going to reduce cost at one point of time, but at one point of time, it is itself an expensive system because maintaining cost accounting means appointing cost accountants appointing you know some staff uh, you know hiring some offices you know office and administrative overheads are there in that, that office. So, this way it is expensive and one more thing cost accounting cannot be used by you know lower level people cost accounting is definitely done by some skilled persons. So, until unless you do not have skilled persons it is not going to you know benefit. So, that you need and moreover, it is also said that uh, cost accounting in itself cannot do anything, management has to do, cost accounting provides only the you know the path. So, definitely this is not a limitation, but people may think that this is a limitation. Cost accounting has its you know function that it provides data in such a manner that uh, management can take decision whether to buy or not to buy, whether to produce a shutdown or not to shut down. So, indirectly it helps. But this is not a substitute of management. Management is required. Okay. Do we have only these three limitations that you have quoted right now, or do we have something more other than these limitations? No, no. There are no limitations. Okay. Oh, these are the only some aspects which yeah. you have taken into consideration. Okay. They can be taken as a drawbacks of this particular specialized branch of accounting. Otherwise, as such, there is no limitation. It yeah. totally depends upon the way the person is going to analyze and look into a matter. If we take an example of a small general store as we have quoted in your example, yeah. he can up to some extent analyze ki this is the thing I have bought for this much of money, I should add 10 percent or 20 percent of the profit of it and should sell it in a market. Yeah. But he is not able to differentiate uh, or is not able to able to add the amount of um, cost which he is going to pay for the electricity bill, for mm -hmm. telephone charges, 
the rent of that particular shop, the labors which he has hired, he is not going to add all those things. Yeah. In general way, he is just taking into consideration that this is the cost and this should be the yeah. sell price. Yeah. So, these are the limitations which depend from person to person, but exactly as such cost hmm. accounting would not have this yeah. kind of limitations. Yeah. Now, once the limitations and advantages and each and every aspect has been known, the scope has been known, the meaning has been known. Now, it is the time to come to know the differentiate between the financial accounting and the cost accounting because we say it is something a very specialized branch of accounting and if you know that accounting is going to be classified into various categories, they may be a financial accounting, they may be a management accounting, they may be a cost accounting and so on. So, now the need is as you are going to study both the things, in your previous module you have gone through the financial accounting while in this particular module it is an optional one and we are basically discuss on the cost accounting. So, our need arises ki how we are going to differentiate between these two different aspects of our accounting. This is very important question because financial accounting was serving the cause of corporate sector, different stakeholders in the business why cost accounting was evolved. So, in the that very part we discussed there are lot of differences in cost and financial accounting. The very first difference is on the basis of users. Financial accounting is basically prepared in such a manner that it fulfills the need of the outsiders, stakeholders such as government, society, tax authorities, etcetera. So, it is prepared in such a manner that this is a document for public. Whereas, cost accounting is concerned it is prepared to fulfill the need of the internal users of the business that is managers and employees. Based on cost accounting information, they take various decisions. So, basic difference is that financial accounting is meant for outsiders, uh, stakeholders and uh, cost accounting is for internal Inter users. Okay. Okay. What are the other differences? Yes. I think this is not the only one difference by which we can differentiate. Yes. I would like to explain various yes. differences by which yeah. our learners can yeah. be very easily differentiate yeah. between these two aspects of yeah. accounting. Second is on the basis of nature. Nature of data in financial accounting we see, financial accounting is basically a post mortem. Whenever any transaction take place afterwards accounting is done. So, it is basically historical in nature. Whereas, cost accounting is dynamic. So, in cost accounting, we are not very rigid. In cost accounting, sometimes we you know divide cost in different among different departments, and sometimes even we take the previous year percentage as a base for the future estimation. So, the cost accounting may be futuristic in nature also sometimes, whereas cost account, uh, financial accounting is purely purely historical, historical in nature. nature. As far as <coughs> other differences are concerned. As we discussed in the beginning that financial accounting is prepared for the whole business unit as a whole. So, financial accounting conveys the results of the business that we have earned this much of profit, these are assets, these are the liabilities of the business and we are going upward or downwards and so forth. But it does not explain department wise performance, which department has performed in which manner. So, if we need to understand the performance of individual department, individual section, individual process, in that case cost accounting helps us. Cost accounting and financial accounting is you know differentiated in some other counts also such as time. As far as time is concerned, financial accounting is basically mostly it is you know annual in nature, financial accounting basically prepares annual reports, these days no doubt semi annual and quarterly results are also published in you know leading newspaper companies convey their quarterly results as well. But again it is usually prepared at the end of the year. As far as cost accounting is concerned it is very frequent in nature because cost accounting is not to show to the outsider it is to use on daily basis. So, cost accounting reports and results are prepared on weekly, on monthly and even on daily basis some reports, charts are generated. So, this is very frequent in nature. As far as legal compensations are required and some permits are required, financial accounting 
as we all know that there are some you know formats which a financial accountant uh, has to follow as per company act there are some performers and there are some accounting standards which financial accountant has to follow whereas cost accounting is concerned such rigid performers and formats are not available whereas the cost accountant has freedom to devise their own methods and you know techniques through which they present their results so it's all up to a business whether they are going to follow any specific performa yeah. the way of presentation or not because yeah. it is their internal matter yeah well when we are basically talking of a financial accounting we have to follow the norms of the follow. company accounts we or the business that the government has set up or the income tax authorities wants right. because with the help of which they can do some analysis right do we have any other differentiate or these are the only differences which we have quoted though they are quite sufficient yeah. to explain a person ki these are the differences but still do we have any more uh, differences in respect to financial accounting or cost accounting these are the some of the differences then you can have some other differences as well like the nature the nature of uh, you know financial accounting is some stereotype whereas nature of cost accounting is investigative in nature okay basically the crux of the difference is that financial accounting is stereotype historic based on some performa whereas cost accounting is dynamic based on it is tailor made and it is prepared in such a fashion that which suits to the need of management in taking wise decisions dear learners i hope we have tried our level best to explain you exactly the meaning of cost accounting with its definition what is the scope of cost accounting what are the advantages of cost accounting how the cost accounting is going to be basically useful to the employees to the management to the shareholders as well as to the nations we have taken into consideration some limitations of cost accounting and have tried to differentiate between the financial accounting and the cost accounting i hope our efforts are not going to be wasted and the things are going to be quite clear now this is not the only thing which is there in a cost accounting still three more chapters are there which you are going to see in our coming forthcoming units thank you learners thank you very much thank you sir for being here with us and providing some useful information you, to our learners thank you प्रकाशित करने राहों को आलोकित करने हम अपना दीपक स्वयं बने हम अपना रास्ता स्वयं चुने पढ़े हम कहीं पढ़े वे विषय के लोच से युक्त हो मित्रों हम उठे और जान